Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll talk about NDVI. NDVI is a normalized difference vegetation index, which is um, computed by uh, a combination of native infrared and red bands of the electromagnetic spectrum for any given sensor. Uh, let's look at the actual definition. So NDVI is calculated from um, this individual measurement as follows. So NDVI is equal to NIR minus red uh, over uh, NIR plus red. So red and NIR stand for spectral reflectance measurements acquired in the red, um, the visible as well as the near infrared regions respectively. So this is how we uh, calculate NDVI. So NDVI uh, provides measurement on the health of or the greenness of a vegetation cover. Uh, so once we looked at that, let's go to um, calculate NDVI. There are two approaches to calculate NDVI, which I'll show you in this exercise. For, but first, let's um, um, provide our study area. In this case, I'll focus on um, Ethiopia. So I'll just uh, load my country's boundary um, as a fusion table and select Ethiopia. And the next step is to import the Landsat imagery from Google Earth's um, engine. And I'll use the Landsat 8 um, data. It's an image collection. So I will define um, the date for that computation. So um, for 2017. And I'll filter by um, my uh, steady region and also calculate media since it's uh, one year. Um, uh, data. So this will give me a single imagery uh, for uh, annual imagery for 2017. Okay, so using this imagery, I am calculating NDVI. I have uh, I can use two methods or two approaches to calculate NDVI. The first one is to simply um, use a mathematical operation that um, that does um, subtract the uh, near infrared from the the the, the red, that that does subtract the red from the near infrared and also um, uh, add the near infrared with the red band uh, simply applying this um, calculation using mathematical operation um, so this will give me so I'm importing the Landsat data and just providing a band and then subtract um, um, band 3 so that will uh, subtract near infrared subtract uh, red divide over uh, like we've seen here divide and then the bracket um, and Landsat um, band 4 that means the near infrared my uh, add uh, band um, 3 that means the red band so just uh, exactly applying this you know formula here uh, and I'm na um, uh, giving it a name NDVI method one so this is uh, by simply using the formula, a mathematical operation, um, just um, give us uh, an NDVI product. The second approach is by using a normalized difference um, built-in Earth engine function, which is written by Earth engine team, and which does actually a similar job of this, but in a more simplistic manner because it's already written um, at the back end, it will um, it will do this operation, but we'll give it the raw image and a normalized difference, and then the the two bands. That means the the near infrared and the the red band. Then this will give us uh, again um, a similar product. Uh, actually, it should be exactly the same uh, in NDVI. So the the method um, is uh, slightly um, different. It looks different, but actually the the product is the same. Uh, it's just um, an, you know, a way of using a different approach, more simplistic, and then um, using exactly the formula um, that I've shown you or just using the Earth Engine built-in uh, NDVI algorithm. Okay, let's look at what the two uh, NDVI products um, look like. And so this is the, the, the one in method one. So the one we have calculated using method one and NDVI method two is the one we've calculated using the Earth Engine built-in algorithm, 
we name it uh, NDVI meter two, and also map the you know the steady boundary just um, to uh, as a reference. And also, lastly, uh, as always, um, center our our map to the center of the steady area. Uh, so using a map center object algorithm. Okay, so now let's uh, run all this and perfect. So let's zoom out a little bit and our NDVI data is loading. So we have the boundary, admin boundary, NDVI meter two, NDVI method one which should uh, more or less give us a similar product. Okay. All right. This is the study area for this exercise, which was uh, Ethiopia, and I'll remove that. So if there is a change in method one and method two, we'll see some change over here when I click uh, this, uh, but I don't think there is any change if I click, if I add and remove, you know, the, the method one and method two NDVI, we don't see any change, right? So that's because these two products, whether you, you use, you know, method one uh, or method two, it doesn't really matter. You're just um, getting the same result. It's just, you know, your preference. If you want to do um, uh, uh, calculate NDVI using method one versus method two. So the green areas show, show you some of the high forested areas and then these are um, some you know barren area or sand um, area in the um, Ethiopian Somali region here is the southwest part of Ethiopia mostly forested area so this is just how you you kind of calculate NDVI um, using two uh, approach NDVI normalized difference vegetation index using um, Google Earth engine